So we're doing vaccines and a spay? Yes. Today's your day. We're going to do you all up. We're not charging for anything today. You know, I decided to make my career about helping others, and I want to go in the areas that need the most help. It's that simple. This is Peanuts. Hi, Peanuts. He's four months old. Hi, how are you? You are a big baby. I got him from a relative. I wanted a small dog, and I cannot believe he's this big because his brothers and sisters are itty bitty. Hey, Peanuts, what do you think? I wanted him neutered just for his health. Okay, good. He's cute. Little terrier. Yeah, is he? Okay. Yeah, he's got some terrier in him for sure. Okay, because I couldn't tell. Somebody said he was a chihuahua. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he's not. A little not. big for a chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? He is four months old. Okay, yeah. Four to five months is my ideal age for fixing him. Okay. We'll Oops. get him done. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. For Pine Ridge, the closest veterinarian is about 65 miles from here but everybody can't afford it. So that's why this program here is very, very important. So people can keep their dogs and keep them healthy. Jess, do you mind helping me out? Yeah. What's his name? Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. Does he have both peanuts? Yes, he's got both peanuts. Good boy. All right. He's a good baby good boy good in boy. it. Yeah. You're OK. All right, he's going right. to take a nap. Okay, peanuts. Come here. Right. Hi, how are you? This one's yours, puppy? Yep, yeah, that's Fred. Hi, Fred. Oh, you're so soft. Where did you get Fred? Well, Fred ate a sock, and his owner wanted to put him to sleep. We didn't want to put him to sleep, so that's how we ended up with him. He ate a sock? He ate a sock. Well, my dog, he eats dirt and, like, plants and stuff. Yep, yeah, they eat about anything, especially, you know, as their puppy. They outgrow it most of the time. Yeah. So I'm just taking off his testicle. I know he don't appreciate it, but I do. He doesn't know the difference. And the bottom line is, he'll live longer and be healthier. Yes. And that's kind of important if you like to have him around. I do. I do. He's just absolutely part of the family. All right, we're done. Thank My you pleasure. very much. My pleasure. All right, let's put you down here. The more you rub him, the faster he'll wake up, OK? okay. Hi. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> okay, this is the DHP Anne Ray. All right. There. This is the first time that we've had Ada and Nola out on one of our offsite events. They're brand new to the track team and they are phenomenal. We have tips. Yeah. Jeff is my coach. He said that he needed volunteers, so me and Enola decided to tag along just like helping out and especially since I get to like hang out with animals. Oh, yeah, you got a couple in this one. It's really like eye opening to see like what these people are going through, what these dogs are going through. So it makes me really happy that we're all coming out to help them. There you go. And this one's just getting ready. Yeah. Good girl. For me, I'm hoping that, you know, through the amount of people that have been coming through the doors, that one of our people will be inspired to say, I want to do this, I want to go to school for this, and then come back home. What's in the box? A kitty. <laughs> oh, OK. Oh, they're cute. All right. How old? Like, like eight, eight weeks. Eight weeks, OK. Yeah. Little boy? Yeah. All right, we'll get him done today. We'll get his vaccines in him, too. So. Okay. All right, pretty cute. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there's going to be a snake or something in there. <laughs> you never know. My cousin Toby had um, some kittens, and I had to beg my dad last minute. <laughs> I said, nope, it's not happening. <laughs> but she's good with animals, and they follow her all over. All right, little guy. Oh, Sammy. Are you Sammy? <laughs> oh, Sammy. I just didn't want you running away from me. Are we sure this is a male? Let me get. Oh, it's a female. It's a female. Oh, it's a female. Hey. <laughs> so little Sammy can either keep Sammy or we can change her name. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, this little kitty's owner wants to be a vet when she gets out of school. Excellent. Are you? Are you live on the res? Yeah. Got good grades. Where are you gonna apply? Kansas or Colorado? Maybe Colorado. Yeah, Colorado's <laughs> great. Well. I mean, we're going to be coming back sometime, and if we do, you hear about us, come on down and volunteer. Really? Yeah, one, yeah, one thing they want is you get lots of experience. 
I want to become a vet because there's a lot of dogs and stuff always getting hit by cars. And I've always loved animals, always been an animal lover. The education is going to get us off of here. And we could do big things for our res too, like could have a veterinarian and stuff there. All right, we're done. Ready? Wake up there, little one. Easy peasy. Here's Thank your little you. burrito. Keep her warm. My cousin lied to me. <laughs> she told me it was a boy, but it don't matter. I'll still love her the same. <laughs> <laughs> this is our ferret. We came to get his claws cut. He came to us with the name Fat Guy, and then we just kept it that way because it suited him. <laughs> He's really, really lazy. We've had him for about two years now. They're fun pets. Um, I guess if you treat them right. I know a lot of people say they, they like to bite, but He's all right, especially with kids. I have a seven-year-old and a 13-year-old, and he's pretty good with them. Yay. We're just going to trim his nails today? Yeah. OK. Do you know how to, like, scruff him and stuff? Oh, like a cat? Yeah. And then they'll do He's thing. yawning. Yeah. <laughs> just hold him like that, and then okay. I'll, I'll start on the back legs first. All right. Has he had this done before? No. I lost the clipper. You can probably just use your regular nail clippers. OK. Now let's give him a break. Good boy. Ooh. Now he might just let us do his front feet. Yeah. Oh, I think he's nervous. He's just shaky. Where'd you get him? I got him from a, a friend that asked me to watch him and his sister, and then they just left him. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yay. Okay, one more. One more side. I used to have one for a while, too, for a few years. She was a lot of fun. She was kind of like a, a cat running around the house. Yeah. All right, we're all done. There good boy, fat right. guy. He did good. Take care. All right, thanks. Here, boo. She is so sweet. She just kind of walked in. I wrote on her paperwork, um, walk in. We did some investigation. She just kind of hangs out at a store, and nobody really wants her, and no one's taking her in, so she just eats scraps. She's been wagging her tail this whole time. She's perfect. She's super sweet and friendly. Susan's in charge of her adoption. That's a very adoptable dog. Not the puppy. She's young, too. She's young. Probably first heat, first litter. You may have a new home with me. People want a dog they can rescue, and she's going to be a true rescue. It is a tick. What are we going to name her? Lakota? Or just Coda? Coda. K-O-D-A. K-O-D-A is perfect for her. It means Let's friends go. in Daco. OK. Code it is. Oh, that's precious. Try to walk her around here. I don't think she's been on a leash, so she probably just doesn't understand what's happening. Come on, Coda. Come on, baby. This was perfect. This means 150 animals will not have litters that are unwanted. No in there! Yay! Today was a really good day because you get to the source of the problem by going back and turning off the spigot by spay and neuter and education. And that's what we're about. Come on, teams. Oh, sorry, baby girl. Frederick, what are you doing? <laughs>